Well, here's my explanation of my metering block visually. What I have here is the list number 454, four, I believe it's an 81302, a clean metering block. And I'll demonstrate by introducing cam tool cleaner everywhere I can. I'll first start here and demonstrate as thusly. Oops. I'm spray everything. Nice large amount of flow going through there. Now for the metering jets, or at least the, the air part of it, when I know what I'm doing. Oh, God, not again. There's a huge amount of cleanliness through here. Both sides. I can even put the screws in here. And I can blow through with my lungs and I can feel the pressure and the air going through. through there. There's no blockage at all. <coughs> I will now attempt to use these ports here. These small ports right there. Make sure it's They are clean, it's just very difficult to get fluid through these tiny little holes. Wow. Once again, I'll try the low, the second one. Let's see if I can get it on there by hand. That is dripping out of the hole. It's not dripping, at least mostly, off the back of the, of the metering block. Huh. What else do I have here? Nothing else I can see that's critical. The power meter here is the replacement from the kit. Its function is nice. The original was little old and I didn't like the action and the diaphragm seemed to be damaged. These, this has been postulated that might be gas leaking around the gasket but I was very careful mounting this and I do not believe there's any problems with the gasket on this model. I hope that's visually clear. Does have good action. And that's the condition of the metering block. The diaphragm, the vacuum, is also clear. And it goes to the distributor. So there's just nothing wrong with this metering block. It's very clean. The floats, both floats were removed. I adjusted the floats by turning the float diaphragm, excuse me, the float upside down and visually lining up perpendicular to the top of the bowl here, the bottom, and set the floats in that manner. Needles are new uh, from the kit. The action here works well. I can hear the float moving up and down when I actually have it all assembled. 
I don't see any problem going on anywhere. Put in a new diaphragm here for the accelerator pump. And just don't figure out why this thing is running very high idle. Alrighty, here's the carb. Now there is nothing difficult about this guy. He is a vacuum advance. Excuse me, he's a vacuum secondary. He's a manual heat choke. And I don't believe that there's anything that I have to worry about with this guy. Except the butterflies here are not really sealing. I have cranked it up so high that the lope on this engine will stall if I don't have a high idle. Therefore, that's why I don't have this puppy closed. But I can back this off right now. Let's see if I can get that to close. 